guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a lot of phones I picked up on eBay. Let me uh, clear off my screen real quick. They end up costing $15.99 with free shipping. There's 20 of them in here. Uh, at the price, couldn't say no. Figured why not. There's a couple of phones I actually really wanted out of this. So that's really the whole reason I bought this particular lot. Got the uh, airbags, as I call them. It's plastic. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with this one. This is one of them. It's the Sanyo SCP-5300. Um, been looking for one of these for a while now. Uh, it's dead. Here is a LG KB-775F. Um, it doesn't... Looks like it's an AT&T phone. I was thinking it was an AT&T, but it looks like it's just a GSM unlocked phone probably. Here is an LG Voyager without a battery, which I have a Voyager in really good shape, but needs a LCD. But I think this one's actually in better shape than mine. Uh, it's got a screen protector on it as well. So maybe I will fix this one. So there's that. Is the VX 10,000. Here we have another Casio Ravine 2. I have like thousands of these as you guys seen. Um, I keep breaking them because I don't really know what to do with any of them at this point. Here is a Blackberry Curve. It is a model number 9300. Right there. There's two of these actually. Here's the other one. This one looks like it has some kind of water damage inside the display. You see the color difference. So, I don't see the water indicator either. I don't know where it's at on these phones. But uh, yeah, there's two of them. It's missing a side key also, I noticed. Looks like it's broken right here. Yeah. Pretty poor shape on that one. Here we have a Samsung SPH M340. I have one of these, uh, but mine doesn't do anything. It's completely dead. So hopefully we get some parts from that one. Here's one out of many Sanyo SCP's 3820s. There's two blue ones and four, or no, three gray ones. Here's a gray one. Um, some of them have batteries and backs. This is a Sanyo SCP-3810. I have a whole bunch of these as well. Um, here is two more gray ones. And then the other blue one. Looks like it's got a plastic cover on it maybe, I don't know. Maybe the uh, display is broken. I think it's actually broken, but uh, there's that one. Here is a Sony, whatever that is. Um, it is a, I don't know, it doesn't even have really a model number on it, but there you go, I'll look, let you guys look at it. You can tell me the model on it. Uh, there you go, it's a Sony phone. Don't think I have, actually I think I have one other Sony phone. That's a touch screen, that's about it. Here is a model CM101. I have one of these. Um, I don't think I have a back or battery cover for mine either. Here is a Sanyo. I think this is the uh, 8300. No, 8200. Um, this one's in blue. I think I have the blue one as well, but not too sure. That's why I'm figuring all these are dead. Here is a Kyocera E41. Uh, 4100, yeah, Sa uh, Sony, or Sanyo, I'm thinking of Sony all of a sudden after messing with that one. Uh, no battery, no back. Here we have a Sony Ericsson. I 
Uh, where did the battery come out? Yeah, looks like it comes out that way. There we go. It is a, I think the T237 up there on the top, I think is what it is. Um, this is with uh, Singular. Pretty straightforward uh, bar phone right there. Nothing unusual. Here is a Sanyo Katana 2. I have one of these in pink now. Um, but this one is with Quest Q. Um, and it has no battery, so I'll be able to test it with the other one I just got, which is right here. One of my uh, recent uh, phone lot unboxing videos. And then lastly, oh, there's a battery. Lastly, we got these phones I was really interested in. I've been wanting one of these for a while. And uh, they're pretty expensive by themselves, so I just figured I'd buy this lot. And I got three of them. And these are the Sanyo S1s. This one is on Sprint, it's black, has a battery as well. Um, here is another one on Quest Q. This one doesn't have a battery. And then we have a red one that looks pretty cool on Quest as well. So there is the phone unboxing video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one.